Yeah, it's good, good quality. Okay, good news and bad news. The good news is I'm getting my braces off on Monday. Yesterday, I went to the dentist and she said, you're done. Basically, yeah. I am finished. Like, my teeth are finished. And yeah. So, my braces are coming off Monday. So, I'll probably post video of, of me before and after, um, with the braces on and off to see if, how the difference looks. And the bad news is that this good Rubik's 3x3, three three, I was trying to break it in, but apparently I broke it in too much and broke it. Yeah. And what I'm thinking about doing is take this good 3x3 three three Rubik's brain that I'm modding and taking it uh making a 3x3x5 three by three by fully functional with this. If you have any good ideas of how to make it leave a video response or comment below telling me what I'm thinking about doing is uh, cut off these centers so it, it's still freely moving around but not that much and then gluing them onto this and so that it's still Really moving. Yeah. And I have this mini dining thing, so I would still have a good 3x3. Three three. And it's kind of good. Not that good. This is a little bit better. And I broke my old my time today. And now my fastest time is 1 minute 5 seconds. And some point twenty eight seconds, I think. What happened was I was like solving it, and I got through the first two layers, and like I did not know this, but I apparently did F two L on on most of them. On most of the um, corners, edge thing, and once I did the um, two corner switching thing, like once I did this to fix it, I had the H perm. And once I did the algorithm to fix the H plum, it was like at 57 seconds. Yeah, I got this. And then 57 seconds. And then I did this. And then I like flushed through the H plum. And I managed to get it. And then I like slammed my hand down on the stop button thing and I was like yes 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 beat my old time by three seconds yes and this is good too I was sick with it cause yeah it's like my only it's like my first 
Not my first team, but my oldest Rubik 3x3 in my collection that I have that from dates where when I got it that's still intact. I break most of mine. And yeah. Either by dropping it, um, doing something stupid. And so, yeah. I remember doing this when I did this, did, um, this kind of thing when I did it throughout the whole queue and I set it on the stand because I was letting it the um, loop dry out in it and then it um, dropped I, in the morning I let it dry overnight and then in the morning I accidentally knocked it over and it broke yeah Okay, it's still good time. And another one of mine broke. Because I was so frustrated at school. Because I was like going, I was like going to go to lunch. And I had this with me. Like one of these with me. And I, at the time, I could only solve um, the first two layers and still learning the um, algorithm for the last layer. Like, I was so frustrated. I slammed it down on my desk at school. And it broke. Like, it broke with. It looked kind of like this. And that, and most of my cubes that broke looks like this. But, and then, another cube I had, which was not a very good cube. And it was like my very, very first cube. I was... Um, I had it at school too, and then my friend saw me with it, and he knew how to solve one, but not that much. He kind of got it, the solution, and so yeah, and, but, he taught me how to disassemble it, but it was very hard to disassemble it. Because it was so crappy, and so bad, and all that. And yeah. And eventually, it, the center cap thing, center piece, broke off because I was taking it apart so much and putting it together kind of incorrectly. And... Later on, I got more cubes, and so yeah. But, I cannot remember. I think this is a cube that I got at Target during Christmas season. And during Christmas season at Target, they had a cube packaging that almost similar to the old V cube packaging. Yeah, where it comes in the box, like a little bit weird way. Yeah, like literally, that is the next time I go to Target during Christmas season, I'll try to look for it and buy it. And then keep it so that 
it's in good condition. Not even sold. Not even open. Keeping like that in my collection. So I know of that box existing. And yeah. The, it had like this man. Um, man with question mark all around it on a certain place and it's kind of really weird I have to find it to show you all how weird it is